Joining us now to assess how Kamala is not only worse than Joe, uh, you know, I don't know what to say, but I'm going to bring him right in. Uh, my dear friend, Oklahoma Senator Mark Wayne Mullen. Senator, it's been a long time since I saw you in the House of Representatives. How are you, sir? I'm, I'm doing good, man. I, I, this is all natural. I mean, I know you look about the same, but you got makeup covering up your wrinkles. You know we've aged since the first time we served together. Uh, you know, it's funny, though, when you start talking about Kabbalah, right? Uh, you know, I tell people all the time, uh, you know, I recruited for years at, at the NRS, NRCC, and now I, I help with the NRSC. And I tell people, just be you. Don't try to Don't try to pretend you're somebody else. You know, like if you were to come to Oklahoma, I'd say, Michael, just wear your suit with your little you know, napkin in your pocket. Don't try to put on a Stetson and try to be a cowboy because it's just not you. Just be you and own it, right? <laughs> and so when you when you start talking about Kamala, if her trying to act like something she's not, it comes across fake and like you're trying to relate. And all that means is you have no identity. You have an identity crisis going on because you don't even know who you really are. Well, listen... Mark Wayne, you know that I have a great pair of Western boots and I do have a Stetson, but I'm going to let that go by because I want to talk more about CNN, their new poll for Biden. I've never seen numbers this bad for an incumbent president during my lifetime. Uh, do we have that? Bottom line, Alice, it's not any good. It's not any good. Look at this. Voters who say that Biden has the mental health to be president. It was just 35 percent pre-debate. Look where it's dropped to now post-debate. 27 percent. How about that he should be running for president? It was 37 percent pre-debate. It's now 28 percent. I have never seen numbers this bad for an incumbent president during my lifetime. Senator, if you know, I've been thinking a lot about this, the debate, let's put aside his performance. What it really did was expose the Democrats, the White House, the entire establishment media. They've been lying the entire time about our president's mental fitness. That's just the reality of it. Well, you know a little bit about this, right? Being an FBI, former FBI agent, you start looking at what the FBI report was that came out during their investigation into the uh, into the classified documents. They went in great detail explaining the health of uh, the mental health of President Biden. And in fact, you know, as good as I do, all that could have been redacted and been put in a classified setting and the public wouldn't even known about it. For some reason, it was released. This was on show. You know, at the State of the Union, he was on teleprompter, right? So he could read everything and he came across normal. This had to be off the cuff and he had to answer questions. And it absolutely wrecked him. Now the question is, is CNN and MSNBC and all these liberal medias are saying, should they replace them? The fact is, they don't know what will happen. Can you imagine if they try to replace him at their national convention and they release the delegates? Remember, our delegates are typically the, the fringe of our party. They're not the moderates. They're going to be on the outskirts of most of them. So they're going to be more the extremists. You could get somebody in there like Buttigieg or you could get somebody in there like Harris that they try to bring in. Can you imagine? So they're kind of stuck because you can't control a convention once you release the delegates. You lose all control. That's a fantastic point. You know, I was I've been worried about where our country is going. Um, but now you just scared me even more when you mentioned someone like Buttigieg could be voted in to run for president of the United States. But let me ask you this. I, I have found that besides a lot of these politicians like Kamala acting in a phony manner, not just being who they are, in addition to that, the other single biggest problem they have is that they think the American people are stupid. They think they don't see the, yes. the president falling down, stuttering over his words, not knowing where he is. The American people are not stupid and they can see through this. So no matter what they say, they see the crime, they see the prices at the grocery store, they see an open border, they're not dumb. Well, it's, it, it, I had a CEO that worked for me for forever. Uh, his name is Ray Tremble, and he always said all the time that the proof's in the pudding, meaning that either the spoon will stand up on its knot or on itself, or it's just soup and the spoon will fall over. And it's the same thing here. You can say whatever you want to about the border being secure. It's not. You had just recently eight terrorists from Tajikistan that was apprehended that was ISIS-K members. You have 367 known terrorists not to mention the, all those that are around him. Keep in mind, uh, Osama bin Laden was a terrorist, and he had a whole bunch of people that were around him that wasn't on the deck of cards. 
So you have a lot of other people that's connected to 367. You have 10 million illegals that's wrecking our streets right now, and there's crime waves going on all over our streets. People see it. And then when you start talking about the economy, it's costing the average American $11,000 more per year to just live the life they were living before Biden came into office when Trump was in office. The proof's in your back pocket at that time. And you want to start talking about gas prices? By the way, inflation isn't included. They don't include gas in, in inflation. That's yeah. interesting because gas is up 50%. So those of us that actually drive, we see it every time we fill up. So what are you going to run on? And that's what I'm saying. People, and that's yeah. what you're, that, well, that's what the point you made, is they can't lie to the American people because they can say whatever they want, whether they want, but talk is cheap. What they have is real. Yeah, and people right. are living in a better, in a worse life today than they were when, when Trump was in office. You can say that again. All right. Listen, Senator, we're out of time, but I do want to let you know that next time if we, we're in town, I will teach you how to properly ride a horse. All right. Senator Mark Wayne Mullen, <laughs> oh, thank you very much for joining us tonight. <laughs> I'll see All you right, soon. See you, brother.